So I wanted to show you how you might install the Modex PHP MySQL Content Management System. So here's the whirlwind tour. You would go to the Modex site, you would click Downloads, you would download the latest stable release, you would unpackage it using your FTP client, you might grab everything and upload it to your website. Once it's up, you would create a MySQL database and you would add a user to that database that had all privileges. Once you've done that, you can navigate to your site to the install directory and you get the Modex web install. So it looks something like this. And you can navigate through this pretty simply. It's pretty good about telling you about errors that it might find, usually with permissions. All you have to do is put in your database name. If you're gonna use a table prefix, for example, if you've only got one database and you wanna group all your Modex columns, or sorry, your Modex tables together, you can do that using a prefix. and then you put in your username that you'd like. Okay, once you've entered your SQL database connection information, you can choose to install a sample website. If this is your first time using Modex, I recommend doing this because then you can look and see how they did everything, which is extremely helpful because you can mess around with things, break it, and see exactly what controls what. If you're not uh, doing this for the first time, you're probably not even watching this video so why don't we go ahead and do that just for the sake of the people out there who are figuring this out for the first time you want to install everything here by the way because it just gives you examples of everything that you might want to be doing boom 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 we're all good install all that okay looking good Remove the install folder and files from my website. Yes, you want to do that. If you don't do that, it will remind you to do that because that's containing some of your uh, nice juicy passwords and whatnot. After you've done this, you can log into your website by navigating to its domain name slash manager. You can see that up there. And uh, I've added a uh, username and a password here. I'm going to pause while I log in. Poof! And you can log in and there you are. This is the manager view and you're probably ready to go on to some other video. If for some reason it wasn't as simple as it just was for me, usually it boils down to permissions on your web server. That usually lands you back in your FTP client. You might be going through your directories and it might ask you to either delete certain directories or to change the permissions on certain directories. And you might do that by navigating to it and right-clicking a directory. And depending on your FTP client, you're going to be doing something here with permissions, changing, read, write, all that good stuff. And the Modex uh, install package is actually really good about notifying you about which particular file or directory needs to be changed. So if you just go through that line by line, you can keep updating and figure out exactly what needs to happen here. Okay, uh, there's lots of support in the forums if something goes horribly wrong. But uh, literally, I just turned on this recording thing and uh, here I am five minutes later with my Modex site up. So uh, comparable to WordPress, I think, in the ease of setup. Hope that helps you guys.